Visit HUDKing.com for other HUDKing real virtual tours. And while you're there, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or use your Gmail account to log into YouTube and subscribe to our HUDKing video page. We are here at 9711 Wind Dancer. That's 9711 Wind Dancer. This is a big and beautiful five bedroom. Yes, five bedrooms, four baths. It was built in 2011. It's almost 4,700 square feet. This is a massive home. And the best thing about this property is right now it's currently listed as a good neighbor next door property, meaning that if you're a police officer, a firefighter, an EMT, or a teacher, you get this home at a 50% discount. The home is listed currently for $255. It's appraised by the county over $270, but you get it for approximately $127,500 plus some additional fees. You actually end up saving about $130,000 on this property. This is one of those unbelievable opportunities that you have to take advantage of if you can. As you can see, the home exterior is a combination of brick and hardy plank siding, and it sits on about a 7,000 square foot lot. Really nice front elevation. Let's take a look at the backyard and then the inside. This is a view out from the back of the home. As I mentioned, it sits on about a 7,000 square foot lot. It has this really nice poured slab here in the back. They don't have a covered patio, but you could probably construct one pretty easily. Rear view of the home. Back is all hardy plank siding. You have a couple of trees planted. And directly behind this home, you will not have any neighbors. As you can see, there's currently a street and a couple of schools back there. So, amazing opportunity for a teacher, particularly if you teach at that school. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, this home is in fantastic condition. I mean, there are a few minor things it needs, but all in all, I think it's a, an amazing buy, especially saving $130,000. It's not every day that people can save over $130,000 underneath the county appraisal. So that is just absolutely amazing. Now, I did notice when I walked in, there's a few minor, minor things on the wall here couple of small blemishes, but that's really, really easily fixed. So the entryway when you come in is, has ceramic tile, which is really nice. If we pan across to the right, you see we have a big combined formal living room as well as a formal dining room. We continue through this entryway and to the left here you have a huge utility room. Washer and dryer connections are in there and that is just a massive room with ceramic tile. To the left of that we have your garage. It is a two-car garage. It is a located a little bit lower. It's, this house sits up on the foundation, so it's really nice. Has a little bit of a, of a better feel, in my opinion. We continue th through, and you'll see it has some nice recessed accents here. And then this huge open kitchen. This kitchen is phenomenal. I mean, it has a ton of countertop space, a lot of cabinets. I love the cabinets. Granite countertops. It has an island, ceramic tile. It is missing the range, which can be either gas or electric. It is missing the microwave and it is missing the dishwasher, but that's all pretty minor. You guys can replace that very easily. And, and I really like this sink as well as, like I said, this granite countertop. So we come this way and as you can see it's very bright. We have a big open bright breakfast room or dining area, however you want to use it. Most people will probably use it for a, a main dining room because it's so big. You have your door taking you outside. And then downstairs you have your big open family room. Big family room does have a nice fireplace. Then we continue around the corner and you have a downstairs office here. Really good size office. There's no closet, so this cannot be considered a bedroom, but you know, if you were creative, you could make it a bedroom. We have a full bathroom downstairs. It's a shower and tub combo with a single vanity. Really nice tile accents in the shower. And then you have bedroom number one located downstairs. So this is not technically the master bedroom. I mean, it's a good size bedroom, but the master is actually located upstairs. But the good thing is if you have guests or or a mother-in-law that's living with you, or elderly parents are living with you, they have their own bathroom downstairs, they don't have to go upstairs. Which leads us to going upstairs. Now this home is huge, as I mentioned, it's almost 4,700 square feet. The carpet is in okay condition, it could probably stand to be steam cleaned, but the paint's in good condition. So when we get upstairs, you have this huge upstairs second family room. And you have the option of going two ways, going to the left or to the right. We're gonna go to the right for the time being. I do like these accented around corners. It's a ni nice touch here. We continue down the hallway. We have bathroom, full bathroom number two. Single vanity, shower and tub combo. Has nice accented tile as well. It's ceramic tile in the bathroom floor. We have bedroom number two. This is at the front of the home. Really good sized bedrooms. Now the carpet in here does have some paint damage. Looks like they dropped a roller on the carpet when they were painting this room. But that's pretty easily addressed. 
We have a bedroom number three at the front of the home also. Nice neutral colors, carpets in good condition in this home, two windows. Pretty standard, not much about these bedrooms, but they are good size. Down the hallway and we have bedroom number four. Bedroom number four definitely I think will need a coat of paint. I don't think very many people are gonna be happy with this red and pink combo, plus they were a little bit messy on how they did it. And then we have full bathroom number three here. Bathroom number three has a single vanity, it has ceramic tile, and it has a shower and tub combo. Pretty standard. Home's in great condition, and if you're a good neighbor next door buyer, there is no reason why you should not take advantage of this program. Own a home that's appraised over 270, you get it for 140. Amazing. So here on this side of the staircase, we have your upstairs media room. And this is where they had, obviously, surround sound speakers. You can see the plugs in the wall for the surround sound speakers and all the cables here to make a fantastic media room or a second office. And then, last but not least, bedroom number five, the big master bedroom. And this is a huge master. Sometimes it's hard to tell in video, but this is a really, really good size master bedroom. It's located at the back of the home and you have a couple of big windows that give you a lot of light. And then here we have the master bath. Now the master bath has dual vanities and it has a huge shower. The master bath does not have a tub, it just has a huge shower. And then you have your master walk-in closet here. There's no power so it's a little bit dark but it's a really good sized master. And then you have your commode right here. So that's about it guys. Let me give you a summary on this amazing five bedroom, four bath, 4,679 square foot home built in 2011. Well, there it is, guys, 9711 Wind Dancer, 9711 Wind Dancer. This right now is a good neighbor next door property, meaning if you're a police officer, a firefighter, an EMT, or a teacher, you get a 50% discount on the price. The home is listed right now for $255. It's appraised by Bayer County over $270,000. Your cost, approximately $140,000, and that's with your fees rolled in after getting your 50% discount. So that's a huge saving, guys. It's almost $130,000 worth of savings for a home that needs very little work. Probably the best buy on the list right now. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.